Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So welcome to another daily video. Now this video is going to be a little bit of everything. Um, I'm going to, I'm just, just going to be fulfilling some requests, um, some requests that I got in comments of things that they, people want me to talk about. Now, first thing that uh, I wanted to talk about is I need to do a re-review of the Rebittles. Kind of give you guys a PSA because I found out that these monsters only have single target skills. I kind of suspected them to because this has like a 25% heal. If it's four monsters, basically like like a max heal. Um, yeah, it's just he's not good. Like I, I think he can. He's slightly better for Titans because it's a single target skill, meaning that he'll slightly do a little bit more damage to the Titans. But he also doesn't have any base damage as well. So it's going to be like, oh, I do 10% more damage on, like, you know, if I have him completely maxed out, I do, like, 5k more damage. That's it. Like, it's, that, that's literally it. Like, compared to if, I, if he had an AoE skill. Um, but yeah, if you, if you really want to use him for Titans, you still kind of can, because he has a 70% attack down, and there's not a lot of good wood attack down monsters. There's uh, especially especially farmable ones. Um, there's only the there's only this guy, who has a 50% two turn, which you could argue is better. Um, and then there's uh, there's this, who has a 30% three turn, which is a little bit too unreliable. And then you have the Nat fours, the Hanas, who has a 60% one turn. Um, but Hana's like top tier because she's a healer. She also has defense buff as well. Um, and then there's the Verde, who has a 60% two turn, but she is a hero's or a rebirth best monster, so she's a she's a lot harder to build. Um, and then there's the Nat Five, who is also a hero's festival exclusive Nat Five, so you know much much harder to get. 90% two turn, which is extremely strong, but you know let's let's be honest, 90% um, of us don't have her anyways. So yeah, with that being said, there's not a lot of good wood attack down monsters. If you are missing some, um, you can actually fit them into your team just to provide the attack down. You could also use some light dark attack down monsters that are that are usable like everywhere, like the uh, the Atari or the uh, the Coco Marus. Um, they have like a 80% or 70%, 80% with skill book attack down. So you know, if you just want to use this instead, it's probably still better. <laughs> Um, but he's ch he's cheaper to build. Like if you want to just get him to five stars and use him to fill a slot, um, he can kind of be used for that. Now the light one is completely gimped because he's single target. You can't use him for farming anymore. Um, his morale boost is kind of wasted. If you use him for titans, morale boost is still not really useful because if you get a blue soul, it basically gives you a hundred percent bar. So you ha you kind of have to get four turns off. For you to for this morale boost to be to be useful at all, um, which probably isn't going to happen. You're probably going to get a blue soul within four turns. So this skill is kind of just completely useless in Titans. Vengeance I think could be all right in Titans, um, but it's also very situational. I would say you know having Predator or Hunter would would actually be better. But he is a single target nuker, so if you're missing a light DPS for Titans, you could kind of use him. He he does have an okay dis stat distribution. He has a 31k attack, decent amount of HP, um, not too low on his defense as well. Well, actually pretty low on his defense, but doesn't really matter. You're just, you're just using him as a nuker. The dark one is completely gimped. You cannot use him for staffing B10 anymore. Um, not having AoE means slower wave clear, means less reliable boss clear. Uh, you could use him for Titans early on. If you're like super, super early on, you have no good DPS monsters, you can just use them to sap the Titans. Like, sap is okay for Titans if you have like nothing better to use and you just started the game and you happen to have some of these, you can just throw them into your Titans comps. So that's that's basically it. Like, he's he's gimped now. Like, all these monsters are gimped, except for the wood one. The wood one is slightly better for Titans, but the light dark ones are gimped because they're a single target. Um, yeah, it's kind of sad. Now, the second thing, the second request I want to, uh, um, second request that I wanted to talk about is um, someone requested that I, I talk about how to gen the light dark lats. Um, I didn't really actually talk about how to gen these. Now, this is the light lat. I think he's he's basically 
a weaker version of the Light Thor um, because of his stat distribution. He is balance type. He has he's much much more squishy because of his um, high recovery, and he's also light. I don't think he's going to survive too well on arena defense unless you put him as a hidden monster. I think he's okay for mid tier defense because shock if you land it can win you a lot of fights. So I think he's okay to use if you really do um, want to. Like if you're missing one unit for a full light defense and you want to use use something, and you don't have a light Thor, or if you have a light Thor and you're still missing one unit for, um, you know, a full light defense, you could use this monster because you can also skill him up. I think it becomes two turns after you skill it up, and this becomes a hundred percent. I can't remember, um, but he, I would say he's weaker than the light Thor because of his uh his stats. Now. For defense, I would just gem him full tanky. There's really no other way. If you're using a full light defense um, and people know that he's a balance type monster, they're going to focus him first. So you want to make him as tanky as possible. You want to go with uh, double HP defense and you want high resist because he's a light monster. He starts with 0% defense. So either a broken set with high resist or if you have a conviction set with also you know some resist substats, you can use that as well. I think that's pretty much it. Like You can also use this monster as a... Um, Actually, no, Shock would slow down your runs in B10. Like, it's just, it's not good. Um, mostly for arena defense, if you're using a full light defense. Now, the Dark Lat is basically a nuker. He's kind of a weaker version of the Dark Mona. Um, his adrenaline skill scales with his own HP, which isn't as good as scaling with own attack, because you're probably going to be building him mostly attack. Um, because of his first skill and his high, well, not high, but like decently high um, HP pool, there's two ways to gem him. You can go with HP crit rate attack, or you can go with crit rate double attack. You definitely do want higher crit rate because of his hunter skill. Plus, he is also dark, so he also st starts with 100% crit. So he has 130% base crit on this skill, meaning that um, just having high crit rate will make him a very effective nuker. Now, Intuition, Valor, um, Ruin would be the best set. If you can't, go with Valor. If you can't, go with Intuition. It's kind of straightforward. Um, you can go with 1 HP gem on him. If you're planning on using him for Arena Offense, depending on your team comp, you can build him full Glass Cannon. You can also go with uh, 1 HP gem because having high, high, 1 um, HP gem and higher HP would mean that her, his Adrenaline would heal for more. But yeah, I would actually try to ignore her, his adrenaline and just go with uh, go with full damage. I think it might be slightly better. Just my opinion, though. But yeah, that's the that's the light dark lat. Uh, that's that's pretty much how to gem. It's pretty it's pretty simple. Now the third thing I wanted to do is um, talk about a little bit of tips that I have for newer players. Now my number one tip, I've said this on some streams before. Uh, my number one tip for all new players would be to Invite or not invite. Uh, try to get 50 high-level friends um, as fast as you can. Just try to try to go into chat, go into the active channels. Usually, the lower ones, like channel one through ten, have a lot of active people actually in the channel um, that are talking and stuff. You can try. You can go in. You can click them and um, see their reps. See if they're level 60, like Evo 3 reps. Try to add them or you can ask them in the chat because these people are chatting, right? So they're actually active in the chat. You can be like, Hey, I'm a new player. Um, can I, can you add me please? You know, I will, I'll suck your dick daddy. You know, just, just be like that in the chat and then they'll, they'll add you or you can add them and then you'll have some high level friends. Um, yeah. The, the reason why you want high level friends is because if you have the high level friends, you can it can help you use use these reps to get through certain stages. Like, say for example, you're building a full water team, uh, which kind of comes to my second point. I'll, I'll kind of combine my second point into this. You want to go with a full water team if you're starting early on. You want to build all water units. You want like all four of your team team units to be full water. Um, the reason for that is because Golems B8 is a very, very easy Golems. Like, Golems B8 is much, much easier than the other, other Golems. And the the element of the B8 boss is fire. So to abuse that, you want to go with all water to kind of kill him faster and do the stage easier. And you 
because because you're building all water um, there are certain stages where it might be slightly harder to clear because of your <coughs> because of your full water like stages with with wood monsters um, wood counters water especially like these monsters who have like uh, high attack they can kill your water monsters pretty easily and um, stages like these like you know this is like a water monster that counters water water st stalker increases critical hit when hitting water monsters so because of certain stages being harder on you for having a full water team you can have your high level friends help you clear through the stages because you, after you clear it once you don't have to go back and farm it again so what um what you can do is you can go go through pagos Coast. you can get get through um all these stages on normal mode get to the second continent once you get to the second continent once it's unlocked um you go through it once on normal mode, go through it once on hard. And I think when you're going through it once on hard, um, it's slightly harder because, you know, the monsters on hard are, are higher level. They're about level... I can't remember. I think it's like level 20 something. Um, and if you're using only 3 star or 4 star monsters without any good gems, especially if they're some of them are wood or some of them are, are element neutral, like Star Sanctuary, who are like all light dark, you can't use elemental advantage against them and you're using a full water team, um, a good way to help you clear through it is you just use use your friends' monsters. Use your friends' monsters. If you have 50 high-level friends that can solo these story stages, like um, pretty much all level 60 monsters, um, anyone that you, you find on channel 1 through 10, you will be will be able to solo through all the story stages on extreme. And you, you kind of just want to go, go do that. You want to go through... Um, well, not extreme. You you kind of just want to do hard because you can get through, get through it on normal, and then once you want to get through it on hard, you use your friends' reps, and then you know there's like ten stages here, ten stages here, or twelve stages here, and then um, fifteen stages here. So if you have like fifty reps, you you can pretty much get through all these stages and get to extreme Pagos Coast in about a day. Or if you only have like twenty reps, it it'll take you like two days. But um, you know, just just by having high level friends, you can get to where you want to want to get, uh, which is like over here, the XP, the bonus XP stage. Now this mod, this stage is mostly fire and it has one water, and but this water is only a a one star mimic who's also very very weak and he only has a forty percent sap. So you can actually get through get to this stage very very easily with your full water team. You, you can beat this stage very easily with your full water team, but you might not be able to beat all the stages before this stage. So you use your your friends monsters to get to this point and then you start farming with your full water monsters um, on extreme mode get all four star gems you know get them all to plus plus 12 and then you go to golems b8 um, if you can't beat these stages and you die just uh, just revive or you use a strong rep that can solo stages like you know light snowy who has like really nice self sustain or someone with a wood arthur or a um, or a uh, wood valk or something like that or not wood valk yeah wood valk uh, wood odin um who else can self heal really really well um water monkey king something like that if you have if s some monsters have like or, or fire wild fang even um you know that can help you clear through some of these stages they have like very very nice self sustain you can clear through these stages, um, and if you die, just use your Astro Gems Revive all the way up, up until you get to B B8, and then just throw in your full water team and just nuke down this boss. It's like super easy. Once you get to this point, um, you'll be able to have access to the, the Square Gems, which brings me up to my next tip. The gems that you want, because the, the, the um, gem slots on monsters are all random, you're not guaranteed to get all the same gem slots. If you take a look at random monsters, they all have different um, gem slots. It's pretty much just RNG. But uh, my recommendation is to give your monsters as many square gems as possible. So you want to just have like pretty much all square. Like if you can, just have all square. Um, because BA only drops square gems. Um, but if you can't have square, I would say square is the best then diamond, then triangle. Triangle is what you want to avoid. Because if you can get, say for example, um, you have your whole team with all square, 
You can go into B8 and just only farm this stage super super fast and you can jump up all your monsters that have square slots. Um, if you have squares and a mix of squares and diamonds, you can go back to B7. Now B7 is also pretty easy, but it takes slightly longer to farm than B8. And you can pretty much jump up all your monsters with square and diamonds. And if you avoid triangles, what, uh, what you can do is you can um, go straight for B10. You can build a B10 team with only monsters that have square and triangle slots and then only farm these two stages not make a team for b9 and then just skip straight to b10 because b9 isn't doesn't really drop better gems it just drops gems of different um different types yeah that's 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 pretty much it so yeah that that's pretty much it that's that's uh i think that those are my best tips for newer players um if you have any questions, you can definitely ask me. I'm also on my Discord. You can message me on Discord or PM me. I'll, I'll be happy to answer all your questions if you want an immediate reply. Because I don't reply to my YouTube... I do reply to every single one of my YouTube comments. But I don't reply to them every single... Like, the moment I I get the comment, you know. Um, sometimes I read them before. And then when I have some time, I sit down and I reply to all my comments. Um, but if you want me to immediately reply, I think you can hit me up on Discord. As long as I'm not sleeping, I'll probably just get back to you really, really fast. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, wait, is there anything else I wanted to do? Is there anything else? I was going to do something. Actually, wait, no, there's there's nothing else. Uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.